Hi everyone, this is a technical analysis on the S&P 500. Let's start with some fundamental background first. Despite good economic data like lower core inflation, stable jobless claims, lower inflation expectations and strong consumer spending that support a soft landing narrative, the S&P 500 just keeps on falling with very shallow pullbacks. One of the main reasons is the non-stop rally in the long-term yields and real yields as it makes financial conditions tighter, ultimately weighing on the stock market. The good economic data might also be interpreted as bad news because inflation might remain higher for longer, require more tightening from the Fed. There's no easy answer at the moment, so the technicals should be more helpful. Looking at the daily chart, we can see that the S&P 500 was diverging with the MACD right when it was approaching the key 4628 resistance. This is generally a sign of weakening momentum often followed by pullbacks or reversals. In this case, we are still in the pullback territory as the S&P 500 reached the key trend line around the 44.20 level. This is where the buyer should step in more strongly with a defined risk below the trend line to target the 46.28 resistance again. The sellers, on the other hand, we want to see the price breaking lower to pile in even more aggressively and target the 43.24 support. Drilling down to the 4-hour chart, we can see that if we get a bounce on this trend line, there will be a strong resistance around the 44.60 level as we have the confluence of the trend line, the previous swing low level and the Fibonacci retracement loss. This is where the sellers are likely to pile in again with a defined risk above the trend line to target a break, a break below the major trend line. The buyers on the other hand will want to see the price breaking higher to get even more conviction to extend the rally into the 46.28 resistance. On the one hour chart, we can see that we have another minor trend line here, which is likely to define the sentiment. In fact, if we see a strong rejection already here from this trend line and then a break below the major one, the bearish momentum will be confirmed to be very strong and the sellers will have more conviction to target the 43.24 support. Conversely, if the price breaks above it, then we should see the extension towards the next trend line here where the sellers will be waiting with an even better risk to reward setup. The only top tier economic indicator left is the US jobless claims report scheduled for today. The market has been weak in the past days, even in the face of good data. So we might be at a point where bad data causes recessionary fears and good data leads to higher rates expectations. It's possible that the market is more likely to react positively, positively to data that's not too cold nor too hot. So big deviations might be bearish either way.